Uh, I'm starting to tackle for right now. Oh, really? Have they told you that they want you out there for NC State? Yeah, they, we've been this, we've been established that like last week. Yes, sir. What was it like, kind of going through that competition with Dennis? Um, it was, it was a good competition because it it made us both better at the end of the day. Because there were some things that I needed to get better at, and some things that he needed to get better at. Even though he just got here, like we both made each other both made each other better throughout the process, and like we both got closer throughout the process because we both was helping each other with certain things. So at the end of the day, it's not like it caused like a rift between us. It really brought us together and made us better at the end of the day. But does, this, does it still kind of drive you seeing a uh, seeing another guy getting first team reps and kind of wanting those? Or? Um, it, it doesn't drive me. I just know he has to get him to get the good competition because he can He has to go against good every time. Like he can't keep going against the Garner per se. Sometimes he has to go against the black and stuff like that. Malik, you guys don't really get a lot of time to warm up. You're going against state first game, big time defensive line, big time defensive ends. How much of a challenge? How much are you looking forward to that matchup? I'm really looking forward to it because I take every challenge as an opportunity in my head because I feel like that's an opportunity for me to prove myself. Like They have a really good defensive line, four legit guys, maybe five. But at the end of the day, I view that as an opportunity for me. Honestly, I feel like I'm pretty good. I feel pretty good about it, and I feel pretty prepared. If I keep working and just keep getting better throughout the week, throughout the practice week, we'll play the way we're supposed to play. Is there pressure on you guys facing that defensive line that good right off the bat? You could say, of course, there's pressure. There's a little pressure from people on the outside, uncertain about what, how we're going to be. But to us, we just have to go out there and play the way we know how to play. Play hard, play fast, and play with discipline. And then we just, at the end of the day, we'll be all right. What Some makes those guys at NC State so good? They know how to use their hands. They get off the ball. Their ends rush up the field real good. On the interior, they got two strong guys. Pretty good. They they are good D line. Real coach D line. What kind of contraption is this you got on your elbow here? Oh, this is um. I got a shoulder brace and the um, elbow brace. Yeah, they said that you kind of digged up your shoulder uh, last week. You know, during the scrimmage. Yeah, during the second scrimmage. It's it's alright though. Uh, so is that something you're gonna have to wear in, in games for a while, or we'll have to see. We'll have to see. You still have free movement and everything. Everything's alright. I don't have as much movement, but. In the game, I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to let it hold me back in the game. There's no, nothing going to stop me from playing in the game. How do you think this offensive line has come together in terms of depth and, and, and just improving across the board? Honestly, we've really come like really close like compared to last year. Like, we've really gelled. Like, we got our travel squad, we all together. Like we all we all work with each other, like me and Dennis, all the starters and backups and stuff like that. We work with each other and we make each other better. Do you have an idea of how many you will travel as far as on the line? Eight, nine, ten? It's about eight or nine. Yeah. Who do you like? Smile Malik. <laughs> <laughs> how about these running backs? Uh, kind of break those guys down. Who, who's I mean, You got whatever flavor you want with our running backs. You can get power, <laughs> speed. Blocking, whatever you want. We got Rico, we got AJ, and we got Tyson. And Mon Denson, he really come along as a really good player as well. Like, he, he's a guy I feel like if he got in the game, he punch it in there. He get the yards every time. He get that one yard you might need every time. Do you expect there to be a lead guy there or, you, or all, all of them to play? Or what do you guys expect? That's not my decision, honestly. And, like, I, I, I honestly don't know, like, what goes on. But I'm pretty sure. Rico, Tyson, AJ would be the main three. AJ said you guys have done a better job moving to the second level. How much do you think that's a testament to, to Coach Wolf and, and kind of the new schemes you guys have been working with? Um, Coach Wolf, he's taught us techniques out of this world. Like, he's harping on technique, footsteps, right foot placement, stuff like that. Because if you don't, like, you're going to get beat. And if, like, you have to have the correct technique. And that's really helping us with our, the way we block it and get into the next level because he's teaching us the right things. I asked this question to Zach. What's more important, your hands or your feet? Ooh, that's a good question. You have to have strong hands regardless. Like, you have to have strong hands. But your feet are just as important. So it's like a 60-40 thing, 60-40 thing. his answer, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, is, is anything that Tyson Williams done surprised you? The fact that he's so big and he moves so fast, you know, I didn't think he was 230, but he is. And he can run through you or he can run around you. I really thought he was just a guy who, who could run outside, but he could run 
get through you if you really wanted to. That's one of the things that surprised me. Has he gotten anybody in practice recently, run over anybody who? Uh... I think he has, but I don't, I don't know the person. I don't really know the person. But this is some people that can't tackle him. There's some DBs in the SEC that probably won't be able to tackle him. How much last year, 2016, before the season, did you work at left tackle? Um, I moved to left tackle like as an experiment last season, um, just the second string. Um, but I got moved to right tackle. But right, right. Left tackle, it, it was new to me in the spring. It was new to me last year, and I got comfortable in the spring. So yeah. How, how tricky is that switching your stance and all that kind of stuff? It's not tricky unless you make it tricky. But for most people who right-handed, it might be a little bit trickier than others. Mm -hmm. But for me, it just took reps, 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 repetition. And I got better at it. I'm still getting better at it. Still got to get comfortable. Still got to get in my groove. But in the, the day, it'll be fine. You just got to keep working at it like anything. Did you play left tackle in high school? I can't remember. I played left tackle for a year. I played right tackle. And I played guard for a year. So you got a little bit of everything in terms of steps and all that. Yes, sir. With, and, and you mentioned getting real comfortable this spring. Like, was, I think I think that's what you said. Yes, but sir. Was there like a moment when you're like, all right, I got this. This this feels good to me, or was it just kind of? Yes, sir. Towards the end of the spring, I really like. I felt real comfortable. Yeah. Like from because Wolf would tell me from the beginning, all the way to the end, like it was a huge difference from the way he taught tape. Like from what he taught me, like I I picked it up. Like. My footwork was horrendous at left tackle. <laughs> it was really horrendous, but I picked it up, and I felt real comfortable towards the end of the spring. Yeah. I felt like I could block somebody, actually. Yeah. What was that conversation like when he's telling you that, that you're going to slide over there? It was just a simple com conversation. He just yeah. told me that I'm going to have to do it, and I manned up, and I had to do it. So, some of the guys were tweeting you guys with Jake out uh, eating. How, how much does that build camaraderie to sort of have your quarterback take the guys up? I mean, it really does. I mean, me, Jake, all of us, the starting five, and plus others, we close to Jake. Like, it's good to be close to your quarterback because at the end of the day, that's who you're fighting for. That's who you're protecting. You want to have, you want to like the person you're protecting. Like, you got to like them. Like, it's it's kind of like a, like when I'm out on the field, I feel like I got to protect Jake. That's how it is. Like, if you if you and your quarterback got a good relationship, I feel like the offensive line going to block harder for him knowing that he can get the ball out, especially a person like Jake who can really make plays down the field. Y'all put back a bunch of burgers? We put it down a couple. Yes, sir. <laughs> Appreciate it, Appreciate it,